not joking. No my guys, them them know me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa. What's it gosh? I just realized that it's been a while I like, did a sit down video. I think so <laughs> it's been a while yeah anyway guys how are you all doing hope you're fine you guys see i apologize for the low quality of this video i don't understand what's going on with my lightning these days and it's like this lightning doesn't understand that there is no money no money so the lightning better improve its quality on its own because me i'm not ready to change any lightning right now anyway you guys hope you guys are fine if you're new on my channel please like this video subscribe to my channel and click the bell so that whenever i post new content you will be the very first to find out so you guys you know i've come again you know me i've come again you know that me i'm only talking about nigerians uk and i'm not even gonna stop anytime so because we we'll keep hitting the nail on the head don't you understand what's going on okay guys so today i'm going to be addressing some of the things that nigerians are doing lately that's just really annoying and if you're planning on moving to the uk I beg, like, don't be like these people. Like, don't be like them. I beg, a jaw. I've done a video like this in the past, but apparently a lot of people watched, but they did not listen because they are still doing some things that I don't like, that I find really annoying. I want to quickly tell you guys a quick short story about something that happened just last month, like not even long ago. So guys, all of us went out for a party, we're enjoying, we're having fun, like, we're just flexing ourselves, having fun. So somehow I was in a club and then some set of guys, there were two, they were just sitting in one place of the club, not really like inside, just towards the entrance and looking like so frustrated, like they just came to like pour out their hearts to have a bit of fun, you know, not to feel depressed because trust me, <laughs> the number of people that are depressed in this country right now is a lot guys there are no jobs no money bills everywhere no money you guys were just on their own and all that friend of ours my of our family actually went there so we're like ah guys what's up why people like this now people should come so as per guys 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 all of them just sat on their table these guys were all drinking jack, jack daniels and they see you know this drink me i don't know i don't take alcohol like that only baileys that's what i like and which other alcohol do i would take if you take me out trust me i'm going to buy more <laughs> um probably baileys once in a while and that baileys ah god sometimes it's sweet in fact i'm not just an alcohol person basically even my husband is not an alcohol person you know good my husband will be Type that we buy you alcohol there, but you will not drink, you will just be sipping this small, small. So, we are not really like alcohol, alcohol people. So, this group of guys, then they were just on the table. Now, this guy, and I went to get them, you know, we're like, oh, what's going on? Just you know, guys, now buying, he was buying so many drinks. Even the guy, the two guys, Nigerian guys, they were also buying drinks. I know this one of ours is not Nigerian, he's British, but he likes to like blend in the lots. And it, it always says that whenever we're going out, we should please be taking him there. He loves Nigeria as and he's looking for a Nigerian wife in case you're interested. It. come and apply in my email let me link you guys so anyway so this guy was buying drinks for them about asking okay what's going on with you guys like are you guys in the country these two guys nigerian guys were like yes they are new in the country and you know things are really are and they are students and they're finding it really rough they've not been able to get a job they are struggling you know just talking as per so my, this is our friend, like that's the British was encouraging this guy. So me, I said, <laughs> when he told me the story, I was there. I didn't know what happened. So I was later, I was just him over the phone. I was like, wow, I must come and talk about it on my channel. So as we were drinking, after everything, you no, know, okay, time to pay bills now. These people, the other pepper soup, the other Jack Daniels, the other Tsuya, the other so many things. Time to pay. These two guys, Nigerian guys, they say they don't have money. For their mind, they've seen Mugu. Abi, that they don't have money, yo. but you don't have money. It's not like this guy was ordering things for you people. You were also ordering. He was ordering for himself, and you guys were ordering. As per, he brought you guys out, or he took you guys out. I don't know if he took you guys out. I mean, yeah, you pay your bills. You set yourself out. Even me, if I hang out with my friends, everybody will bring out once it's time to pay bills. So yeah, I will start swiping your card. Even birthday party, graduation, everybody swipe their card. Now, does it like... I bought you out, so I would chest all the bills. Nala, you know they happen for years. Except it's like a party where we cook. I'm like, oh, come and eat. But if it's going out, a gathering, swap your card, my dear. So these two guys, maybe they think it's Nigerian or that Nigerian mentality of wanting to chop Oyibo man. They were like, they don't have money. They don't have, have card. They will just, my, this my friend was just weak. No problem. He cleared the bills. Okay. He has cleared the bills for you guys now. Why are you posting reordering? These people now reorder Jack Daniels and some other alcohol. Maybe I don't know names of alcohol. And even jollof rice. Like, ordering more things. 
Ha, my friend was like, okay, maybe they are, they have money because they already said they don't have money, right? You don't, you know, you don't have money. The person, this person has already paid your first bill. So why are you not reordering? So the guy was like, well, maybe they figure themselves out. They will pay. Or more. These people, after ordering and eating everything, the first one did as if he wants to go and make a call and left. This guy did not come back. The second one now went to the toilet, like he wants to use the toilet. From then, when he noticed that this, my friend was like, his mind was not there. He was just doing something else. Whew. This guy escaped. That was how these two Nigerian guys escaped. And they anointed that this guy he really wanted to help them. This was how they just embarrassed themselves. And they left. He had to clear the bill. Ha! Almost I was like, hey, if it's me, I'll, guy, I don't get money. You pay. You if you don't pay your bills, go and go and wash plates. So you see this attitude of trying to like shut out smart people. Ah, if you form a go, I chop you. It's bad. And I feel like Nigerians at this point, we should stop doing it. I know we do it a lot, a lot in Nigeria. I was a victim of this. Hey, until I shine my eye, I was... In fact, my greatest fear about living in Nigeria, because obviously my plan, I know I'm going to go back to Nigeria at some point in my life, is being cheated on. I hate that feeling. You know when you go to the market and you buy something, something worth of 2000 you buy it for 10000 You know how painful it is? I, I used to, like, it was a regular thing for me. They used to cheat me until I developed sense and started shining my eye. My mom even had, had to teach me how to price. So, like, you guys, I feel like we should drop that attitude. It is so, 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 so bad. Really, really bad. Now, guys, another one that happened, which I'm sure a lot of you know, is about this Siri Kenneth, a Nigerian that came to the UK to study. Barely three months into the UK, he was chatting with young girls of 14 and 15. It's crazy. Like, it's crazy. Now, warriors of children somehow, somehow contacted him, went to his house, started questioning him. At first, he was forming for their chest him. Oh, I need to talk to my landlord. I need to do the did that. I need to do the did that. Until they were like, oh, you've been talking to young children. What have you been talking to them about? <laughs> As in the way they were questioning him. You've been doing this, you've been doing that. You were even sending them some indecent pictures of yourself and asking them to send you their pictures in return. You also invited them over. Why are you having this kind of conversation with 14 and 15 year old? They questioned, where are you from? He said he's from Nigeria. Okay, you're from Nigeria. In Nigeria, what is the legal age to date people or to have sexual intercourse with people? He said 18, like 18. So 14 and 15 years old, is it ideal for you to be having this kind of discussion, this kind of conversation with them? But when he noticed he had lost the battle because these warriors of children, they put the full chat and they're like, you've traumatized these children for life, blah, 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 blah. Started saying you're sorry. I'm like, you're sorry. Sorry for what? Like at that point, I was like, let me just take a minute and think about the children that this guy has molested in Nigeria because there is no way he, he, he wasn't doing this in Nigeria. Is a pervert. Because coming to a sane society, a sensible person wants to be careful. And I'm sure this person, this Siri Kenneth, is definitely one of those Nigerians that will say, Nigerians in the UK, you are talking too much. You poor are doing this. You poor keep telling us how to do this in the UK. How to do that in the UK. Wow, it has happened finally, right? You know, when we come out here and talk about all these things, they feel like we are talking too much or we are wasting our time. Forgetting that, trust me, like believe me, content creators are doing a lot out there, but they won't clearly see it because they're just so judgmental and maybe they tried content creating and it did not work for them and they're just backbiting people. Because to me, that's how I see it. This content thing is, is difficult. Well, it's so difficult. Instagram or YouTube or Facebook. See me, I've been trying to build my Facebook page, but I can't even build it. They're telling me to pay money to boost. I'm like, pay money to boost what? I'm not boosting anything. People don't see it that way. All they do is that they come out and just insult people. But now, see now, this guy has landed himself in trouble. Definitely is going to jail. I don't even know. It. I, I, I tried to browse it, but I saw different contradicting responses. I'm like, okay, well whatever he's not my relative he's definitely going to face sentencing i don't know how he's going to prove his innocence in fact there's no innocence because he was apologizing that he's sorry it's just two warriors of children were like no it's not just two you were actually talking to more than two children he said no 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 it's two i'm sorry i'm sorry he nailed down hey oh my god oh my god i'm sorry i'm sorry I'm like, I beg, just go. I beg, police, come and carry this guy and try him in court and sentence him straight. Let him go and suffer small. No, I know I'm, I'm here new, okay? So I needed friends. So I was like, 
how you doing? Hope you are good. Your people, they told me, one of them said, people who are working, the bank, that kind of thing. And I said, okay, no problem. That maybe we can be friends, maybe hang out, you know. That's it. That is a load of oil. In this child for photos, photos, photos. No, I just want maybe since we met online, maybe I can, you know, have nothing. I don't want anything. Why? Why did you not go for an adult? Why did you go for these children? No, I, I don't want anything intimate. And I hope this serves as a huge lesson to other Nigerians here in the UK and even people that plan on coming. When you come, respect yourself. Like, respect yourself is so important if you were looking for a girlfriend or a boyfriend look for people of same age as you and don't even go to their homes if you want to hang out hang out in public guys very very important another thing that nigerians have been doing recently is tribalism i don't understand it like yeah in nigeria a lot of people lately if i now say me if i put more comments more like like this on this on insta blog or in the KG about our current president people will come for me I don't know. People of the same ethnic group as him will come for me. I'm like, are we fighting? It's still one Nigeria. But people come here like, oh no, I don't want to associate with Yoruba. Their wala is too much. I don't want to associate with Igbo. Their wala is too much. I'm like, all these things people are doing. Like, see, I know someone that came recently. I was like, ah, Melissa, I don't think I want to associate with Nigerians. So this, that. I'm like, see, Nigerians, we help you. Good Nigerians. Like, I am one of the benefactors of having good Nigerians at, around. They've helped me so much. I have three children. Like, where do you expect me to keep these children when I have something to do? And my, like, today I'm supposed to have a training, but because the lady that normally helps me to look after them is not around. And my sister, you barely even see my sister this day. Like, she walks back to back. So I don't even count her in the picture whenever I want to make my plans because most times she will not be home. She's busy. Trust me, living in this country hits you anyhow you see. When my head is hot and it's burning and I just want to unwind, it's still the same Nigerian people that will come. Like, I bet you there, I'll say, I want to come to your house. So I want to bring my children to your house. So help me with this, help me with that. They will help you, especially if you have good, strong Nigerian community. Like where I live, we have a very strong Nigerian community. And it's not just Igbos. I have friends outside. I said I, was, I don't have Aousa friends. That's why I was asking people in my vlog the last time. Are there Aousas in this country? <laughs> do do Aousas jack bar? But what I'm trying to say is that that tribalism of a thing, stop it. You need Nigerians around, trust me. The only thing that myself, I mean, I made a conscious decision that I will not attend the Nigerian church because I just don't want that thing that I ran away from in Nigeria to face me here. You know, constantly asking for offering, tithe, boom clunch, pay this, pay that. I don't want that vibes. I just want to praise my God. Like, do you understand? So that's the only thing that me, I told myself, I will not. So my church, we won't have Nigerians in my church, which is okay, but his mom, like my pastor is British. As not pastor is British. I'm trying to say, you guys, that tribalism, like, oh, I don't touch it to the Igbo or Awusa or this. Drop it at Ichiro Airport or Manchester Airport. If possible, even drop it in Nigeria, Abuja Airport, Lagos Airport. Drop it there. Very, very important, guys. Tribalism. Mm -mm. Don't bring it here. And, you know, for me, well, I don't associate with Nigerians. Nigerians, they are this, they are that. They are still the ones that will help you. Another thing that Nigerians, like, we need to stop doing, guys, is... I've said it so many times on this channel. Talking too much at work and doing too much. We yeah, I was working. There was this particular guy. Like, he used to check staff. They were they sacked him, of course. At some point, they laid him off. He used to check um, staff. Like, there was a day that he, he actually hit somebody, like somebody that is close to me, on the bomb bomb, a girl. And she's married, though. Hit her on the bomb bomb. I swore. I started laughing. <laughs> you know that stupid laugh that men give when they do bad things? The girl was like, don't ever try it again. Like, don't try it. When she, thought, she, came, she came to me to tell me that, imagine this stupid guy hits my bum. I'm like, what? Does he know you're married? Even if you're not married, like, that's abuse. Why would he do that? She like, she should report him. Anyway, I just begged my friend, don't know, please don't report. Just let it go, I beg. He, he just, just warn him. For him to have the nerves to do it to you, that means he, he has been doing it to others and he will keep doing it. He will get, definitely get caught. And frankly... He got caught. Unfortunately for him, he went to hit the bum bum of a of a child of a nurse. Like he and started, you know, touching her one kind, one kind. Oibo, like you took it to an Oibo person. Sharp, sharp. She cried and went to the office to report, and that was how they laid him off. In fact, 
What is it just because the girl does not want to press charges? If she had decided to press charges, that girl would have been in serious trouble. And he's a student and come who came to the UK to study. I'm like, what is going on at this point? Like, what is going on? Even the other time, there was a particular Nigerian that was always forming. She does not want to associate with Nigerians at work. Like when she's working with Nigerians, she would just be keeping a straight face, not starting a conversation, not replying, very rude. But when she wants to talk to British people, she'll be for me, oh, hi, love, you changed your hair today. Oh my gosh, you look so beautiful. Ah, she was so annoying. As in, she was, I noticed she was doing it to a lot of people and I would just think that I don't get to work with her because I trust myself. Like, I know I, I hey God, I know how to treat that kind of people. You will not even see my face for you to even come and say you want to excuse your face. Like, before you start excusing your face, I've started my own. So, you know that I know, and see, like, I can't see you. Like, I, I know they see you. If you're friendly to me, yes, I'll be friendly to you. But if you want to bring that attitude, um, I will give it to you. So, she was in it a lot. And at the end of the day, it's still the same British people that messed her up at work. And she was laid off. So, where am I driving at, guys? You come here, whether you find yourself in school or in at work or wherever it is, read the environment. Man, don't call me that at that nasty attitude you know that somehow we as nigerians we are really good people but sometimes some people can have some kind of attitude that is just really disgusting and they come that over sabi i don't know i always say when you find your, yourself in an environment just read the environment keep calm yes you might know a lot but don't prove that you know too much sometimes it's even, if if any ignorance is even the best pretend like you don't know meanwhile you know what you're doing right just instead of talking too much when it's time to act act and prove that you know what you're doing you know your job don't come in and start talking too much or oh, this happened or oh, that you get the point, guys. So I had this content in my mind all this while to come out and just just talk about it from time to time. This content, I will keep doing anything I know that Nigerians are doing that. I know they find funny. I will come and talk it. And see, nobody should come and tell me is the only Nigerians that are doing like that. See, I know my statistics. I know the number of people that watch me. I know they see Pakistani from my distance. I know they see India from my analysis, from my audience. So why should I come and start talking about India and Pakistan? Also, Nigerians, well, another thing I want to do is that let's try and help ourselves. Let's try and help one another. It is so important. I know some Nigerians can be very milking, like you approach them and they want to milk you. Yeah, I I understand that but that should not stop you from just being helpful generally there's a way you know you can help someone that is stranded or that just came in can be something like this just taking the person out showing the person around your town just something to make the person calm down maybe because it's so depressing when you find yourself in a new environment and you're trying to like find your way around it can be emotionally draining and if you know, if you, there's a way you know you can help someone, like you know of a job link, you know of a business idea, there's nothing wrong with sharing it. See, I was talking to a Pakistani recently and she was like, do you know that we are taking over this country? In fact, that we've taken over. I said, I know. Because if you go to most GP, check the founder or the group of people that found the GP surgery, you find that you see Pakistani names all there. Like, they will come together and do a business. I don't know. They, they tr like Asians, they are so united. The way they trust themselves, it's, it's so beautiful, especially Indians and Pakistanis. That's why there's a particular place where I live in Huddersfield. It is owned by Pakistans. Like, if you go to that street, when I was in my driving lesson then, so my instructor was telling me about them. I was like, what? Like, am I still in the UK or I am in america or canada like these houses are big not the average tiny tiny houses wide massive houses with swimming pools all of them in one estate like big 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 buildings in one long quiet estate and if you see the cars that are parked there you, I, oh my god i didn't know i was in the uk i was like i was laughing i was cracking joke in my driving so it looks like you just took me to america because what am i saying well like majority of these houses are owned by asians that these people are business people they they find once they discover a business idea they share it amongst themselves and they get to work and they share the money and you know everybody's growing but trust me an average nigerian man once he finds out about something that is most likely going to yield huge income he will keep it to himself and execute it himself and trust me you might not get the same result as if you had come together as a group and execute that tax if you get my point so 
I hope you guys have been able to take something home. Very important, trust me. I hope you guys have been able to take something home and you enjoyed this content. If you did, kindly smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell. Like I said, this is going to be like a constant content. Anything I notice, I'll come out here and talk about it. Okay, okay, people. So thank you for watching this video. And of course, I'm going to see you all in my next one for now. Bye, guys.